before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button and please like this video as well hello everybody welcome back to my channel today's video i'm doing a tutorial on this lovely sunset eye look because you guys have been asking for this tutorial ever since i posted it on my makeup page my makeup page is makeup by alice holmes so please go and follow me because i want to get to 700 followers on there but yeah um you guys have been asking you guys have been asking for this tutorial and honestly i absolutely love the colors this eye look is so easy to recreate and <laughs> i've been wearing this eye look for ages now and it is my new favorite look literally obsessed with the colors and the lipstick as well can i just say i absolutely love wearing red lipstick it's my favorite thing at the minute if you guys would like to see this look then keep on watching so firstly for my makeup i will be doing my eyebrows so what i will need is um, my morphe eyebrow pomade in latte and my um, peaches and cream eyebrow brush in the pc09 this brush for the eyebrows can i just say is amazing i personally peaches and cream makeup brushes are 10 out of 10 um so what i'll need is my mirror this mirror like is really dirty and it's really old so please excuse the state of it but what I'll need to do, oh my god, this is going to be so awkward. I will just be brushing out my eyebrows. Then like I will line above my eyebrows and then line the top and then, and then fill them in like after I have lined like both sides of my eyebrows, if you know what I mean. So like I'll kind of show you. I have cleaned um, all my makeup brushes um, using I So Clean. I So Clean is such an amazing brand for cleaning your makeup brushes because it is antibacterial. And they do make your makeup brushes really soft because they do have... Um, aloe vera in them so please um check out i saw clean you can sign up for like a beauty account and get um, money off and you can actually get the spray and the liquid for 18 pound 50 it's a bargain literally a bargain love that stuff so much but anyway just gonna line the bottom of my eyebrow my eyebrows are pretty full so like i don't um, need to fill them in too much and i also wax my eyebrows myself because you have like a wax pot at home and and I have been training like a college to do waxing so like it's all safe at home guys but yes I'll just line the top of my brows you guys can use like a eyebrow pomade eyebrow pencil eyebrow powder but personally like I like using the eyebrow pomade because like it's a lot more fuller and it's easy to apply personally just kind of fill it in now uh, fill in little blanks and brush upwards as well because brushing upwards is important can i just say it's absolutely boiling in here but anyway guys the um, next step is basically going to be like putting the base for your eyeshadow is my bra showing yes my bra showing we love that but anyway so to basically like make a base for my um eyeshadow i will be using the revolution concealer in c4 the revolution concealers are amazing by the way and the brush i'll be using is the peaches and cream pc 40 this brush is so flat and it's really nice. This brush is also perfect for carving on your eyebrows as well. Um, it's so good and it's so soft as well. So that is what I'm going to use. So what I need to do is basically like open the concealer up and basically like put it like on my eyelid as so. That's probably like enough concealer and then like I'll brush it out and blend in. So as you can see, I'm just brushing it and blending. This will create the perfect eye base for your eyeshadow looks. Revolution concealer starts at four pounds. Honestly, it's so worth it. Like, it's just amazing concealer for like concealing, eye bases, everything you could ever use it for. It's it's excellent to use. So now that the base is all done, I will now be moving on to eyeshadow. As you guys have seen by the title, I will be going for a sunset eye look and I will be using the Be Perfect Carnival palette and I will be using the red, the orange and the yellow shades in this palette. As you can see, re red, orange and yellow. And this palette is beautiful. The brush um, that I will be using first is this Spectrum A12 brush and I will be using it in the red shade first. So what I'll basically do is basically pat it on my lid. Yes colour is bright red by the way guys I'll just show you just gonna pat it um like on the outer corner and also in the crease a little bit as well keep patting along building in the colour up is really important to 
make it vibrant. I'm just going to go along my lid and all over my eyelid as well because that's important. And go from this side. Oh, creating a nice red base for my eyes. This sunset eye look is really easy to create as well, guys. It is super simple. Next up is the orange shade. So after this is all even, these spread out. I will be using my Peaches and Cream brush, MPC39, and we'll be dipping it in this um, orange shade here called Lit. And basically build the colour up, as you can see, bright orange. And basically put this just like above the red and kind of blend into it a little bit. There we go. This eye look really suits green eyes because like the orange and the red are like opposite to green and that like brings out the green eye look. So I'm just going to keep adding the orange around. Got my hand is aching from holding this palette you know. This palette is quite weighty by the way. I'm just going to keep adding it. As you can see there, I'm going to keep adding the orange. Right so now it's time for the yellow shade. So like I will be using this Real Techniques um, fluffy um, what is called essential crease brush my hand oh my hand has got cramp in it oh my god but anyway guys so we'll be using this one in the shade keen i'm just going to use keen oh my god look at uh, like all the downfall on that and basically here just kind of blend it out a little bit it's gonna oh my god oh my cramp in my hand is gonna kill me today guys oh damn anyway just keep blending this in the outer corner until it's all nice and even. Oh my god, I've got all the yellow eyeshadow in there. Oh my god, have you seen that, guys? That is so bad. Anyway, just gonna keep blending. And then to go over, I will use the orange shade again to kind of build the orange shade up again. And this will kind of help it a little bit. As you guys can see, oh my god, my hand is killing me. Oh my god, it must be like the angle I'm holding the palette at. It's really hurting my hand. But anyway, guys, there we go. So now, what I will do is basically use this um, fluffy brush and blend it out. And this just creates like a lovely sunset eye look. Let's keep blending. Now that both my eyes have the sunset eye look on them, like I will be using the Too Faced glitter glue to basically stick the eye glitter to my lid. So what I'll need is basically like a little uh, small brush. This one here, and put some glue on the brush, um, not too much. Then put this glue on my eyelid, as so. So now that the lid is all tacky, I will be using in the Phoenix Glitter by Peaches and Cream. Honestly, Peaches and Cream glitters, who kind of just say it are unreal. I will be using like a little flat eyeshadow brush to put it on with. Honestly, the colour of this is beautiful. It's like a coppery ready colour. It's beautiful, guys, honestly. It's so unreal. Just gonna pat this on my eyelid. Honestly, the colour is amazing. It's super pretty. Fits in perfectly with this little eye look that I've got going. Wow. Can you see that guys? Oh my god, it's so beautiful, honestly, love it so much. It's super pretty. Um gorgeous. Wow. Now that my eyes are now done, I will be moving on to primer. So the primer I will be using. Too Faced Peachy One, favourite primer ever, smells unreal and it's matte because my face is oily, I need my whole makeup look to be matte 24-7 because I am an oily mess. My, my skin secretes oil so fast it's unreal so I'm just going to put this like on my t-zone on my chin because that's where my oiliness is and just rub this in like I usually would. My nose gets the most oiliness, like it's the worst place ever for oiliness, like oily skin, goals, <laughs> love it so much obviously, but yeah, just going to rub this in, then I'll look in my mirror, is that all rubbed in? Yes, it, it seems all rubbed in, so now like it will be time for foundation, the foundation I absolutely love at the minute, Maybelline Superstay Foundation, I'll have to put the lid that way. Maybelline Superstay Foundation, light beige. This foundation, I own so many of these now. 
favourite foundations ever and they are the best coverage ever. Superdrug actually have um, 2 for 12. So get yourself two, fa two foundations for Superdrug for £12. You will be winning right now. But anyway guys, so I'm just going to put this like on my face. The coverage of this foundation is amazing by the way. And then my forehead. And then what we'll do is basically blend it in. I will be using... Oh my god, the foundation is literally running down my face. I'll be using the buffing brush, my real techniques, and it's actually um, been cleaned by ISO Clean. And um, yes, yeah, so it's like I'll just be brushing downwards on my face to brush all your face hairs down. This foundation, the coverage is amazing. My forehead does get really oily as well, so I need to have plenty of foundation on there and plenty of primer. It's gonna go up a bit. Keep blending until it's all nicely even and distributed. Oh, oh my god, I can't say that word. But yes, it's going to keep blending until it's all nice and even. There we go, it's all nice and blended. Oh my god, my face looks so white compared to my neck. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. I will not um, look this white in a few minutes. Trust me. Now like it'd be time to move on to concealer. So the concealer I'll be using is the Revolution Hydrate one. This concealer is so good for using under your eyes. So the place where I'm gonna put this is under my eyes obviously because I do have dark circles on my chin, in my nose, on a tiny bit of my forehead as well, and then like we're blending it with my real techniques sponge, which actually needs cleaned because it's kind of grim. Just be using this and actually wet this a little bit because it needs a bit wet. Blend, there we go. Nice and perfectly nice and wet. And I'm just going to blend this under my eyes until it's all nice and bright. So now it's time for powder because if you are an oily girl like me, you know that you need plenty of powder on your face otherwise you'll be an oily mess trust me so now it's time for powder which is kind of boring but the powder i will be using in this revolution one and use this real techniques one in 302 and the powder brush in 300 so i'll be using this one for under my eyes it's up my mirror actually I'm, I'm, this powder goes everywhere though so annoying put this under my eyes there we go, to set my under eyes and on the other side and then my big powder brush which is so soft by the way. The next step is actually bronzer. So the bronzer I've been using lately which I love is this lovely Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. Look at the packaging for a start then if you open it up and you'll be amazed. Look at that. Look at that bronzer guys. It's so gorgeous. So the brush we'll be using this is Spectrum. Um, Mayo 5 brush and this bronze is going to go on forehead and cheekbones because I need to look a bit more bronzed because I am really pale and then next step will be the contouring which I do love a little bit of contouring for contour I will be using the sleek one in a medium yep a medium so like it comes with like a little um, contour and powder and I will be using this um, Peaches and Cream PC 26 brush and I'm only going to dab this in a little bit and on there and I'm going to put some of my cheekbones make sure there's no hairs in the way and there contoured face or what <laughs> and then like I'll add a tiny bit on my, for like, on my forehead because we need to have a little bit of shape on the head setting brush on my nose because we need a little contoured nose as you can see, my nose is not contoured, but will be in a minute. And then it'll be time to blend it out. So like I will be using the multitask brush, which is a good little brush for contouring and blending out. Well, actually, like I will be setting my face before I use highlighter. Revolution spray. Oh, almost dropped that. With Revolution spray, it's gonna set my face. There we go. Time for highlighter now. Highlighter will be using uh, it's the Urban Decay one. And then we'll be using my Peaches and Cream PC28 brush, which is the perfect highlighter brush, can I just say. And we'll be using the middle shade and this shade, because those two shades are beautiful together. I'm going to kind of rub it in, like so. And then put it on my nose. 
on my like the bridge of my nose, on my cheeks, on the side of my cheeks, a little bit like under my eyes because we need to have a little bit glow under the eyes, on my lips, this tiny brush of highlight for like in there, and then on like on there as well, as on the other side. And then and there's my highlight complete, time for eyelashes. So eyelashes I will be using are the Doll Beauty Betsy eyelashes and I'll just be taking them apart and taking like any excess glue off because we do not want any excess glue on my eyelids. These eyelashes are very nice and I have worn these loads now so like they probably are very worn but they are still in nice shape for eyelashes. Right, I think that is time so now I will be um, using the Duo Lash Glue, the best glue in the land, honestly, I, this is the only glue I'll ever use, and I'm just going to be using a little bit on there, and then wait for 30 seconds or so for it to set and be able to stick on my lids, so yeah, I literally have eyeshadow all down these pants literally stained yellow we love that <laughs> just going to wait for this to set a little bit and then i'll be putting this on my lid honestly these colors are so beautiful i love them so much sat beautifully on my eyelid there we go one lash is done now so i can move on to the other eyelash now now that my eyelashes are glued on like I feel more girly now but anyway guys um next step is lipstick so should I go for like a red lip or nude lip probably red lip actually because I was like I never really go for like a red lip really I will be using some red lip liner I'm basically lining my lips with it obviously because you know that is what um lip liner is for at the end of the day lining your lips it's gonna make sure there's no hairs in the way because yeah we, we, we don't want any hairs interfering I'm just gonna line my lips like so Oh my god, my lip liner is literally broke. Can you see that? My lip liner is literally broke. You having a laugh? For God's sake, I hate this when I, I hate that when I, I, I hate it when that happens. My lips have kind of been filled in by the lip liner, but it's fine. And also, it's broken off, which is not a great time right now. But anyway, now we'll be using my Morphe red lipstick in Lover. This is a matte red lipstick, my favourite lipstick of all times and there's a ton of motorbikes going past so I'll, I will wait until they go past. Anyway, I'm going to be using this. Red lipstick is my favourite at the minute. I love it so much. The colour of this lipstick guys, can I just say, is beautiful literally. I love it so much. So, there is my red lips. Ooh, look at me wearing red lipstick guys, it's sexy. <laughs> I'm joking by the way. Um, red lipstick, oh my god, it makes your lips look so plump. Like, can you see that? Oh my god, red lipstick is my new favourite colour lipstick to wear guys. I'm literally obsessed with red lipstick. But anyway guys, um, this is my finished sunset eye look. I'll just have a look. I'll kind of do kind of a close up even though it'll be blurry. But... Here is the sunset eye look. Honestly, this eye look is super easy to create. I love it so much and honestly the colours are my faves. Um, so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Please also subscribe to my channel because I would like to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of June because we can do it. have been gaining so many subscribers lately and hello guys if you are new, please subscribe. Honestly, I am so grateful for everyone who watches my videos and supports me. It means the world and we are gaining loads of subscribers right now. So yeah, and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!